Very interesting case of a woman age 55. 55, yeah. Kothai kothai ache. Ghure dekha nek tu. You see the neurofibroma. Uthe dekha hoy, uthe kanda dana. Ghure jam. It's extensive and it has spread all. It's neurofibroma, isn't it? So the it's a congenital disease called neurofibromatosis or von Recklinghausen's disease. It's a uh, it's congenital, so you can see the patient has a tendency to form multiple fibromas. These are made of uh, conjunctive tissue, yes, and uh, they are benign uh, tumors. But uh, the thing is that. She she has them everywhere. The biggest is is on the back of the head, but she has everywhere. So so if you want to have a look, it's a differential diagnosis also with lepra uh, or the Hansen's disease. But this is congenital. So if we ask her, since uh, the most probably is John mo theke achi ita? John mo theke achi? No. Kabe theke? She's not sure, to be very okay. honest. She's saying it, that she had an injury in childhood. Conta. Yes. It started with this, the large one. She's saying in childhood. Okay. Yes, She's not yes. sure, to be very honest. Okay. Yes, but uh, I mean, all her son has it as well. The son yes, is standing yes, outside. It's, it's congenital. Yes. Quite heavy congenital. Yeah. So that's that's the thing with it, and it's uh, those are benign uh, tumors, conjunctive tissue tumors. Uh, some ones can be taken away with surgery if they are uh, interfering with life's patient, but mm. it's a congenital disease. Operation hoy chilo kono? Hota she she didn't want to go for surgery. She had been advised by conventional medicine for surgery for the large one. Mm -hmm. But she didn't want to go for it. She had this this started to flare up since childhood. Yes, and the tumors they appear in the tip of the of the nervous uh, terminations. Yes, so that's why they, uh, that's a mixture of uh, a conjunctive tissue with uh, the tip of the neurons of, of the nerves. So that's why, that's why it's called neurofibromatosis. Sons hasn't been so much, so it's better. Sons uh, is getting better, but she came to her most uh, us to us for her son mostly. But uh, she said that you know I don't want others ones to be enlarged like this one. You know, so that's why her major concern is she doesn't want any other fibroma to be as this size as other ones. So I told her maybe we can't reduce, but I will check for the progress so that you know it doesn't flare up like the one in the in the neck. Right. So for her, the case is fibromas. You understand painless. It's generally no pain with these. She has occasional contraction right leg. Myism. For you understand, it's crying out loud psychosis. So much growths, excess. You have to prescribe a psychotic remedy. She has sun headaches and vertigo. Again, from the sun, the vertigo. She gets frequent cold resulting in sneezing and she has stress incontinence as well. You understand stress incontinence, sneezing causing involuntary urination. I mentioned about the contracted feeling in the right leg. 
she is editable. She likes salt, salty, spicy. She has occasional night terrors, she wakes from the sleep shouting. You understand we always share with the management that what I can do, maybe the other the ones which are there will not go away, but at least I can prevent further progress. That's what I can promise to her. You know. So that was the thing which I mentioned. We started in April 2019 with natrium mu. Considering psychosis, the fibromas, desire for salt, stiffness and contraction. I want you to open Allen's please for natrium mu. You will see there is a line, hamstrings are stiff and contracted. So there is a tendency to stiffening and contraction of the, of the muscles in natrium mu. Stiffness of the hamstring muscles, contraction of the hamstring muscles. You got that? You have that in causticum, natrium mute as well. You know, like the, at night they have extreme stiffness of the muscles, they wake up, you know, shouting, that kind of muscle cramps and stiffness. Is there any night no, because I thought it was psychotic, that's why psychotic. with the totality it helps, you know, okay. it matches yeah. in just in that way. But nowhere in no uh, metromedicals it mentions about fibromas. You got the points for Natmure, I repeat again, desire for salt and salty, stiff and contracted, irritable, sun aggravation, she mentioned about the something with sun, sun vertigo and the neurofibromas are psychotic. Any change? Hey, chale koi? Kono poribortho na chage thake? Kita. She feels that the this one has reduced a little bit. I asked the son as well. Tathege to come chhe. Any any or onno gulo kono ta come chhe? No tun kono hai chhe? I'm asking if any new has come up, but you know you understand it's difficult for her to tell as well because it's all over the body, right? At ero kom phule jai ni to kono. Every time what I generally ask as a sign for follow up, you know, a. Has there, has there been any new growth which has increased to this extent, right? No. And B, if she, she feels like a heavy feeling here, right? So, in terms of sensation, she can tell me that the heaviness is better or worse. You understand? Because of the weight of this swelling, she feels like a heavy feeling here. She says that the heaviness has reduced to a little extent. You can't, obviously, she hasn't measured it. Mm -hmm. But uh, she says that the heaviness is a little bit better. So those are the points for us to judge. Should I repeat or should I wait? You understand there is no emotionals. There is no definitive generals for us to understand if it is getting better or not. Signs of improvement is generally judged by any new lesion which has increased to this extent or the heavy feeling which is says of this. Right. We started with 200 C. I have not repeated that much. 200 C again was repeated in June and 1M in October, that is it. You understand she is content with the treatment and nothing new is flaring up to this extent, right? So, we are happy because she is happy, we are boosting. Baba Maar chilo? Baba Maar bong se karu rache, didi, bhai, bon? No, not in the last generation. A chela mere kaar achhe. Tomar, ar karun nahi. Bonero achhe. Both her children have it. Right? Not in the previous generation, but both her children have it. This is also interesting, you know, because she is presenting to you features of psychosis, right? Her parents may have another feature of psychosis, right? So when it goes to the next generation. It may come in the same form of psychosis, it may come in a varied form. So, this is one of the manifestations of psychosis. If you take the detailed history of the parent, they may have any other psychotic history, you know, which is not reflecting in her. Because this kind of excess, you understand, with the virulence of psychosis, you need to have some degree of psychosis in the previous generation. Maybe not in this form, 
but in some other form it was there possibly like parents. probably parents. yes yes like a strong psychotic family and you understand it's transmitted to the next generation yeah. as well right so maybe in in course of time i will need to prescribe medorinum or athuya to take care of you know like the strong psychosis you understand medorinum probably because it's like a hereditary psychosis it's a congen uh, psychosis which has been transmitted to the next generation right so sometimes if you are even not getting any form of psychosis in or any form of the miasm in the previous generation if you ask about particular diseases they had you may come up with a particular miasm as well sometimes he is on thuya and he is doing better on thuya right he has a thuya constitution as well they have given him thuya so that has improved as well right I got natrum features, but I thought of medorinum to be very honest because such a strong psychosis. But natrum has helped to a certain extent, you know. Which is the anger, anger, yeah, sun aggravation. You know, there were quite a few. Fe if it was like a one-sided case, no symptoms of natrum, maybe I would have started with medorinum, you know, considering the strong psychosis, right? Baba Mar kono boro rok chilo. Sharam kichhu. I am asking if the parents had any major disease. She says I don't know. The parents don't have it. They didn't have it. That's what I was sharing. That maybe they don't have this form of psychosis, but maybe the parents had some other form of psychosis, you know, which uh, she doesn't know about. To be honest, we're boosting today. Um, we again follow her up in eight weeks' time. <laughs>